Uh, uh, turn to this other issue of health care. Republicans, of course, yesterday met with President Donald Trump uh, as it relates to the Affordable Care Act. Uh, of course, they want to repeal and replace. Vice President Mike Pence made it clear that this is first on their agenda. Uh, this got thunderous applause in uh, Trump's uh, joint session speech on Tuesday. Uh, but uh, still, it looks like uh, Republicans are taking lots of heat uh, in these town hall meetings. And also there's disagreement uh, in these meetings as, as to whether or not they can move forward with this. Uh, they are now going to have to own this uh, uh, if uh, they decide to change it. Well, I think they ought to own it. Um, you know, we've got uh, billions of people who now have health care who, 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 who still need it. And to uh, repeal it without replacing it is going to be a disaster, um, and I, and that's why they're getting the um, uh, that's why they have these they're having these town meetings and people are upset about it because they don't know if they're going to be able to see their doctor next week or whenever. But I don't think it's going to be a very easy repeal um, uh, because there's too much disagreement uh, among the Republicans right now. There are four or five plans that. Uh, have been revealed at least portions of it. People uh, like the, the to to be able to continue with the the pre-existing conditions to be covered. Uh, these 26-year-olds want to remain on their parents' uh, insurance, uh, but people are really struggling right now, and uh, they want to take uh, the the, the health care that they have. Uh, the, the, I mean, it's going to be a disaster. So, and I think they realize that. I think they're very concerned. Uh, about what's happening in these town meetings, and they can't agree among themselves. So um, I, I just don't believe that it's going to be repealed without replacement uh, and expect that the country is going to stand by and, and let that happen. So, you know, I'm encouraging people to continue to uh, contact their, their members of Congress. Um, you know, people stood and applauded for, for it, and I, I think I was very insulted with my colleagues for doing it. I certainly uh, don't applaud that. So many people um, uh, really, they need this health care. We're going to have about, we've got about 80,000 people in, in my district who will um, be affected and impacted by it if it, if it is okay. repealed. So All right. uh, I'm hoping everything stays in place. Congresswoman Alma Adams, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Roland. Have uh, a good day. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air, and you still get shot by the cops. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me he's dead. We're not going to let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. We will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.